Howdy friends, Greg here. Today I'm at the Free Play Florida events here and check it out, I have a very special guest with me. It's Mr. Billy Mitchell. And I, I brought my entourage here. Hey, your entourage. We got the Riley and Kimmy show. Oh, awesome. Hey, we're here, we're at center stage. Look at these guys, I feel underdressed. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Take care. Patrick Riley. Yes, Riley and Kimmy show. Riley, oh, the Riley hey, and hey, Kimmy hey, show. Hey, Kimmy. Right oh, hey, Kimmy. hi. Hey. RileyandKimmy.com. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you too as well. So I just found the Kickbright store. They still have a ton of their buttons, but the most important thing is they still have the Atari promotional box. Typically we call these Vader units because they, they have the black front on them like this. All right, I met with the fellow who made this floppy and the sleepy planet game, so I promised him that I would play it. Isn't that the most amazing name for a video game ever? It sounds pretty interesting. It sounds awesome. I don't even know how to play games. I'm terrible <laughs> at playing games. Oh, I just died. I just died. I died. Okay, good, good thoughts. Good thoughts. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna go back to Centipede. What's the uh, what's your what, what's the website for it? Our sleepyplanetgame.com. Down here, they got tons and tons of pinball machines. But what's catching my eye is this giant Tron machine. Look at this guy. Giant controls. Giant screen. It's awesome. It's the world's largest Donkey Kong. If you look over here, they also have the world's largest Star Wars arcade. Seeing these giant games again makes me feel like a kid again. Because I feel a lot smaller than I normally would be. And what we have here is the dream of mine to have a Star Wars sit-down arcade unit. Maybe one day I'll have one of these. What are you playing? This is Pong. Yeah, this is Pong, but it's uh, done with like... It's like, a, it's, like, it's like an actual physical Pong. It's so cool. Ah! She you know, won! She beat you! <laughs> you stink! I'm terrible! I'm terrible! I found the Atari Age booth, and in my opinion, probably the best one. An Atari Jaguar with a conversion of the Atari ST games for uh, Jeff Minter. Have you seen a Jaguar before? I own a Jaguar. Do you own a Jaguar? I actually have probably the rarest Jaguar game in my car right now on the off chance that these people don't have a copy and they want to try it. <laughs> people say the controller is the most uncomfortable thing ever. What do you think since it's your first time? Tell me, how, you, how does it feel? I, I don't like it. You don't like I it? I hate it. I absolutely detest this controller. <laughs> <laughs> He found the power glove. It's so bad. It's so bad? You need to play the power glove while wearing the virtual boy. Two of the worst peripherals ever made. Pretty bad. I, I, I had this one. <laughs> uh, it, it's not very good. I've never actually put my eyes inside of a virtual boy to see what it looks like in there. I gotta say that. 3D graphics are actually pretty good. It, it actually has a good field of depth here while playing this. There's the Atari Lynx, NES Top Loader, Commodore VIC-20. Two Vectrex units. So many game systems. Sega Master System, Genesis. We don't care about Xbox. We only care about the classics. Neo Geo, Neo CD, PlayStation. This must be some way to hook up ROMs to it. Super Famicom, Nintendo, Atari XE, MSX computer. And this is known as an FM Towns Marty. This is a pretty rare computer as well. Alright, wow. Hey, how's it going? This is two videos. At the same wow. time. Wow. This is what we call double vlogging. We're, we're double oh, vlogging. That's pretty good. We're, we're double vlogging. I've been doing this the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it's the whole time. The entire uh, time. Yes. Yeah. Kind of make me feel Listen, sick. I saw that you brought your uh, game cabinet right over there. Ah, yes. Yeah. The geek mobile. The game is don't hit anybody. You drive around. You want to see it in action? Yeah, yeah. let's see it. Check this let's out. Let's see it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. 
And normally it's a camera that shows me where I'm going, but the battery died. So now I just have to guess. Uh oh, this is the guy. Excuse you don't me, want to arrest it. Oh, careful. You got a ticket? You, you, got, you got a ticket, okay? Oh, great. This is this is your warning, all right? All right, thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, look out! Oh, you take it, you take it off the table. It's, okay. it's, all, it's all junk anyway. Took it. Where's it going? Now you get a reverse. That's this is the hardest part. This is the hard part. He's going. Going back. Going back. So you'll live in this in your retirement someday, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm going to drive it back to Winsaga, Rhode Island, tomorrow. <laughs> oh it's going to take a long time. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, thanks. I'm Keith Apicary. Keith Apicary. I'm like the gaming whiz. I chug all the gigabytes. Mostly Neo Geo and Sega Genesis. I don't mess around with that baby Nintendo stuff. <laughs> Let me tell you how to get big on YouTube. Okay, how? you got to make Atari video game oh. reviews. Oh, that's good. I like that. Atari's that's cool. That's Not many people are touching Atari. Nobody's now. doing Atari these days. Wow, you do Atari like Lynx and stuff? I do. I do all kinds of Atari stuff. The Lynx is stuff. the best. I, Lynx, I used to say, is the handheld system for drug dealers because it's so <laughs> tough. It's it so is. It's so big. You got to be it's a real a, bad boy to handle that it's, thing. It's a pretty awesome system because if you, if, you know, if you get in trouble with somebody, you can just whack them over the head. Uh -huh. That's drug dealers. Perfect. They do that a lot. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> We've got about a million original classic arcade games here, and I'm not gonna be able to show them all to you. Oh, well, maybe that's a montage. Uh oh, this one's for for you, Mark Bustler. Oh my gosh! One of my fondest memories of going to the arcades is actually from this game called Mystic Marathon. The reason why I loved it so much is because for some reason, I think it was set to free play, and I just played it for like an hour. Cocktail Asteroids, which I don't, I don't think I've ever seen an Asteroids cocktail before. This is like a Pong clone by Williams called Paddleball. Honestly, this may be more rare than an actual Pong machine. Yep, the era of arcade games. This is what it was like. Except back then it was dark. You had a two liter bottle of Shasta and an all rush mixtape. Let's rock. A couple of regular kind of games. That, what? What is this? It's like calling my name suddenly. I feel like, I, I feel like I've got to play this game. Don't watch the screen, folks. You might become part of a government experiment. Greg, Greg, you've been playing this for five hours, bro. What? We gotta go, we gotta what? go. Are we, are we gotta go? We gotta go, oh. we gotta go. Okay, all right, all right, I, I, I guess I'll go now. We, we gotta go. Uh, I feel like I need to go see a government agency right now. I think so too. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. bye. No, don't go near it, don't, don't go near it. Don't go near it. Come on, Sean, come on. Come on, we gotta go, yeah, we, gotta we, go. Gotta go. we gotta go, we gotta go. This is where it all started. Kind of like pachinko machines a little bit. Alley Who. Daisy. Game of skill. Ten balls for a nickel. 1932 Mills official pin table. I just hit the I just I just pushed this in and the ball the balls all disappeared. I guess I, I probably screwed up the machine. I'm, I'm pushing this in and the ball is like sitting there. Made out of wood. I guess most games are made out of wood anyway, right? Most arcade games are made out of wood. Most of them, but it's like a nice finished wood. But these are like really nice wood though. This is the most angriest Flash Gordon ever. Probably because his pinball is not working. He's pretty angry right now. There's sort of kind of a line here for the Pirates of the Caribbean pinball. That's interesting. It's like a crowd of walkers. Oh, there's Walking Dead pinball over there. Just talked to George Lowe for a couple of minutes. He was very accommodating, very nice guy. You know, he was the voice of Space Ghost, Ghost of Yeah. Uh, that's the uh, show that really like spawned everything from the Cartoon Network. 
Without that show, a lot of the shows from Cartoon Network and Adult Swim wouldn't exist. So, George Lowe, right over there, right over there. Todd Rogers here, who has the world record in the game Dragster, is going to show me how to play Dragster. Absolutely. Awesome. Basic is when it's one, one, two, three, four, hold your button down and you use mini tap. Greg is now racing the guy. World's record. They both blow their engine. All right, they're trying again. I believe in Greg. Hashtag I believe in Greg. He's already blown his engine. It's up to Greg. Do not blow the engine. That's all he has to do. Blew the engine again. So once again, I'm like I'm getting punched in the face. This time, Deshaun punched me in this 3D. This is a 360 camera. In this 360 camera move, I got, I got punched. Punched in the face. But should we start in the traditional way of giving them a nice, welcoming round of applause? Here's to the arcade legends on the panel. What I take from video games, what it brought out in me, what it forever scarred in my personality, was a competitive edge to do better and better and better and better. And it didn't matter how well I did, I wanted to do better. Yeah, I got a challenge for Billy Mitchell. <laughs> Hello, Billy Mitchell. Uh, would you like to have a little friendly challenge? It's hard to be flattered by you, so what do you have in mind? <laughs> well, I was wondering, you know, because I have a world record in myself as the world's lowest score in Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> uh, well, Billy, I was wondering if maybe we could do a wrong off and see if we get the world lowest. Yeah. I mean, like I'm talking to the right guy. You <laughs> sure are. What's the rules on the wrong off? The rules of the wrong off are it's Donkey Kong, and we have to get the lowest score within 60 seconds without dying. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're the favorite on that, aren't you? Yeah, I sure am. You can come to the right guy if you want to fail. All right, two o'clock after this bail, Bill. <laughs> 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 Hey, Billy, are you giving him some pointers? I made it real easy. I told him, don't run into anything, you'll be fine. Donkey Kong. I almost reached the jump with my pinky. Oh, shoot. 500. That's the world record for one handed Donkey Kong. So I just had a great idea. All right, lay it on me. There really needs to be some world records of playing games with one hand. But oh. I think in your case, you might want to try it with your feet. Or no hands and use your face with joystick and mash the buttons and joystick. That would be fantastic. Yeah. I think that's right up your alley. It you sure need, is. You need to make a whole series of YouTube All right, videos. I'm going to do it. Doing that. That's a good idea. Thank you. You're welcome. How can I play Tempest and Fire and shoot at the same time? Just spin it and shoot. Spin it and shoot. Oh, I'm dead. This one I might be able to do one-handed. No, actually, no, there's two joysticks. I can't do this one-handed, I gotta have two. This is not conducive to one-handed gameplay. Uh, check out this Pac-Man machine with all the signatures on it. I recognize that one. Billy, 3.3 million. I'm not sure these other names are on here. Cool, very cool. This is a game I'm pretty sure I can do one-handed, so let's try it. Oh, I'm off the pattern now, I totally really blow the pattern. But really, does a pattern really matter as long as you get a perfect score? I feel like Mark Bustler right now. Ready for some classic game room. Man, Pac-Man for the arcade. 
arcade today. It's the classic asteroids. One-handed. I can almost do this. Oh, am I still alive? Where'd I go? You may have seen this in Stranger Things too, but I knew it from back in the day. Dragon's Lair. Playing. No. Oh. They have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zur and the Kodan Armada. Man, I'm impressed even myself. Oh, Mark. Fun Jones. Look what I found, dude. Star Trek Pinball. All right, I'm here with Albert Yuru 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 Yuruso. <laughs> So he runs probably the biggest and best Atari website out there, AtariH.com. And what what has surprised you the most about the current state of Atari? I mean, people are still making homebrew games for it. Yeah, and uh, people are surprised. 40 years ago, you know, the Atari 2600 came out in 1977, and here we are, 40 years later, and people are still creating brand new games for the system. And it hasn't slowed down at all. We've been publishing games for 15 years now. You may remember a game called Scramble. Juno first, I remember that one. Cover Arcade, Medieval Mayhem. Much better version. So that's more of an original game. Yes, it is. Yes. Here's a more or less a I Sonic. Have no idea what that is. No idea what that is. Day Frosty 2 is another original. Draconian is, is one I'm really excited about. It's a clone of the game Bosconian, and it has voice and everything in it, so it's pretty incredible. Star Castle, you might remember that game. Uh, I've never heard of this one. That's another original game. Ang Adventure RPG. Space Rocks is uh, an asteroids. It has more of the features, uh, you know, a nice menu of options. It has some elements of Asteroids Deluxe also. Thank you. And the original platform. Okay. And this, Assemble is kind of a, a puzzle game. This is kind of evoking like... Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of Back to the Future. It's Back to the Future yeah. meets Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah. Thanks, Albert, for showing me some of the homebrew games that are out there for the Atari 2600, which has always been a very important system in my heart. But it's my very first game system. Mine too, yeah. It was a pleasure to meet you, sir. Good to meet you, finally. Finally, oh. finally. Atari yeah. Times and Atari Age finally meet up. Awesome right. meeting you. Thank you. Take Thanks care. a lot. You too. So yeah, I had a really good time at the Free Play Florida show. If you get a chance to go to any one of these classic gaming conventions, I suggest that you do it. I really enjoyed meeting Keith Apicary, Billy Mitchell, and Walter Day, Todd Rogers, Tim Lapatino, and Albert Yaruso. It was great meeting y'all. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and remember, the adventure's in you. I will become addicted. Well, it's an honor to meet you, sir. Yeah, Pleasure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for looking at my face.